So I'm here with James Westby. Uh, James, what is it you do with Ubuntu? Um, I'm involved with uh, trying to make Ubuntu development more distributed. Um, it's, it's kind of an odd way of putting it, but um, the, the benefits of version control have been known in software development for a long time. But um, Ubuntu's version control is, is the equivalent of the tarball method of version control. When you want to save something, you turn it into a tarball and stick it in another directory. Um, so it, that that was that was we've moved on from that in the in the rest of software development. So it, it works it works well for Ubuntu now, but um, there are plenty of people who think it could be better, and I'm one of them. And uh, the the state of the art in version control at the moment is what's called distributed version control, uh, which takes the idea that you that each person should have their own copy of the branch. And that should be as good as any other copy, so you don't you don't have to have a central server to talk to, um, and it, that means that it's distributed in the sense that you you don't have to have the central server. But the the main advantage of it is that it, it it's it's vital for a distributed version control to be good at merging, so you can branch off and you can merge back. And Ubuntu development is based on Debian, and it's also based on Upstream, and there are also derivatives. Uh, who base their work on Ubuntu. So there's there is there is branching which is going on and it's just not very it's just not very well represented at the moment. So the idea is hopefully to um, use the principles of version control within the distribution so that we when we branch we have we can track the changes and then merge back together more easily and track where the differences are. Okay, so let me make let me make sure I'm clear on this. We're yes. talking about source code revision control across different uh, Ubuntu derivatives, sort of Ubuntu's Ubuntu, or are we talking across uh, the whole range of source code that Ubuntu has anything to do with and its derivatives? Um, yeah, that's the that's the final the, what the final plan is to have everything in version control. It would be, it would be based at the package level, so Ubuntu has sixteen thousand source packages, so each one of those will be a branch. In revision control, so if you were if you were a de derivative, you could check out the Ubuntu branch and make your changes and give it to your users for testing, and then ask for Ubuntu to merge back your changes, uh, which were all tracked. And so Ubuntu may have moved on in the same time, and you can merge it, use the power of the version control system underneath, rather than relying solely on the developer to track the changes and merge things back. Um, but it will also be used within. It, it, it's very nice for derivatives, but it's also very good for Ubuntu itself. There are there are several tasks performed by developers, which which are branches and merges and uh, changes in themselves. And um, so, for instance, if a bug is fixed within a stable release, so if we were to go back now and make a change in Hardy, which was something that was missed before the release, then it's also a change which is going to be made in Intrepid, the current dis development distribution. So we need to make the same change in two places, in two, and these are then branches. You have the hardy branch and you have the development branch. And so you can cherry pick the changes across it's called and apply the same change in both places, which is what's done, it's what's done currently, but we don't have good tools to support that. And it is a version control operation. So hopefully by using version control as the base for our development work, we can use its power in order to make these things more easy to perform with greater accuracy and so make development more efficient overall. So these are things that Bazaar doesn't do at the moment? No, we don't use Bazaar. Um, our, current, our current way of working is to do things with tarballs and patches and things like that and try and simulate a version control system by hand, by Okay. Brute force. So Bazaar is just used for launchpad stuff. So, so Bazaar is a version control system, distributed version control system. Its development is sponsored by Canonical, and it is um, used. Launchpad has good support for it. It's a core part of Launchpad. Ha, um, but La Launchpad is also the d the bug tracker for Ubuntu and the way we manage development. And um, so there are they are both exist in the same place, but they're not. They're not used together at the moment. 
Um, some people do maintain packages in Bazaar, people who are interested in Bazaar, people who see the benefits of it already, you can, you can do it yourself, I do it for some of my packages, there are other people who use it quite happily, uh, but it's not done on a wide scale. Is that something that should change? Do you see essentially Bazaar being the tool that you would use to move towards this distributed version control? Yeah, that's, the, that's, that's hopefully what's going to happen, that's, um, that's where I started. Um, I've been doing it for a couple of years now. I got interested in 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 bazaar and distributed vision control, and so I started developing tools to allow me to combine my distro work and the version control system. Um, these these are available in Ubuntu, so anyone can use them, and some people do. Um, but it was just f for my for my benefit, and some other people picked it up. So we could we can hopefully take it and roll it out across the distro uh, with everyone using using the tools and having the benefits of them. So what's it going to take for that to happen? Um, firstly, we need to get everything available in Bazaar um, because at the moment it's only available if the developer chooses to do it and so you, you don't know whether a certain package is going to be in Bazaar or not so most people just ignore it. Um, so firstly, we're going, to, we're going to have everything available as a Bazaar branch. Um, that's going to be the first step. And then once we have that, people can start using it and working out what doesn't work for them, what, what needs to be improved in Bazaar. There will have to be things which are improved or added onto it where we can use the new capabilities to, to work better. And then we need to develop a whole load of changes to our tools and perhaps our workflows and um, use the new technology in a more effective way, hopefully. Um, and then once we, once we have all that, then we can switch over and say everything is done in Bazaar. We don't use the source packages as a primary. They might still be around for because Debian will still be using them, and so you need to communicate with them, but they're not the primary method of development in Ubuntu. So, and then once we have that, we can, we can continue to improve things, but um, we've, got, we've got quite a long way to go and a lot of things to do, and there's, there's, a, there's, a, there's a lot of source code in Ubuntu to... Uh, to, to make available first. Yeah, it does sound like it's going to be a, a very difficult task. How long do you think it's going to take? Um, well, we're, we're looking to get started very soon. Um, the, the idea has been around in Ubuntu for quite a long time, um, but there's going to be an effort put into it for this, dis this development cycle to get things set up. Um, so hopefully within a, a month or two we'll, we'll, we'll have branches available for the packages. There needs to be changes in Launchpad made and the, we actually need to do the conversion, we need to do the import, but um, they, they're not too complicated. Uh, so hopefully within the next couple of months we'll have things available and we'll, we'll be able to start moving. So what are you hoping to get out of this UDS? Um, I, I'm quite inexperienced in Ubuntu development. Um, I don't know how a lot of the teams work, like the server team and the mobile team. Uh, I haven't really interacted with them, so I don't know what their, what their current way of working is. So I want to learn from them. I want to speak to them and find out what they do, what they don't like about how they work at the moment, what is really good, what they don't want us to change um, because they're tied to it. And so I need to learn all that so I can um, start looking at the tools we use and the processes we use to improve them. Um, and uh, there's also plenty of open questions about where we want to go, so I want to get input from the developers who are going to be using this as to how they are going to, how they want it to look, how, how they, what they want to be able to get out of it, because, I mean, the, the purpose is to make it development more efficient, so we need to, we need to listen to how they, how they want to work. And developers are a funny bunch. You could be really, really popular or really, really unpopular, depending <laughs> on whether you get it right or not. They are a, they are a funny bunch, and uh, there's, a, there's a big chance that um, it, it, could, it could annoy some people. So, yeah, getting as much information as possible now, and this is a great opportunity to do it, is something that I'm very conscious needs to be done. But, yeah, it, it, could, it could annoy some people, but hopefully, hopefully we can avoid that and uh, take it forward and get the benefits. Thank you very much indeed. Thanks, James. Cheers.